and now the last example from this topic of height and distance which is different from all the questions that we have solved so far let's look at the question here it says a pole stands vertically inside a scalar triangular park ABC if the angle of elevation of the top of the pole from each corner of the park is same then in triangle ABC the foot of the pole is at what point right the given answer options are centroid in center circumcenter and orthocenter so basically we need to identify that the foot of the pole is at what point of the triangle ABC right there are different points given here uh, centroid in center circumcenter orthocenter all right so what the, what does the question have to say and, and clearly the question here does not involve any sort of calculation right this is more of reasoning where we have to find out uh, based on the given data that the foot of the pole lies at which of these points okay so you know there is a scale and triangular part abc right let's let's consider the scale and triangle right there is a scale and triangle let's say this is a triangle here right scale and triangle as you all know is the one which has got all the three sides different all the three sides are different so let's say this is the triangle abc the scale and triangle a b and c so bc ac and ab are all three different sides now there is a pole which stands vertically inside this park so let's let's say this is the point where the pole stands let's say this is the point p okay so if you observe this is how the pole stands it is vertically so this is the top view what you are seeing here is the top view right the top of the pole and the scale and triangular part a b and c then it says the angle of elevation of the top of the pole from each corner of the park is same that means from each of the corners a b and c the angle of elevation of the pole is the same and based on this we have to identify the foot lies at which of these points so if you try to take a 3d diagram here let's say uh, the vertical pole here is uh, shown with the line this way right pt is the pole right getting the point this is a 3d uh, diagram basically which i'm trying to put on paper so this is how the pole looks like okay uh, pt is the pole t is the top of the pole and p is the foot of the pole now angle of elevation of uh, the top of the pole from each corner is same. So what happens? We'll have three right angle triangles here. If you observe, one will be with respect to point A, then with respect to point B, and the third one is with respect to point C here. All right. So there are three right angle triangles. One is A P T. Get the point? A P T, B P T, and C P T. All right, I'm sure uh, you are able to understand the diagram there. It's it's a 3D uh, diagram, right? So consider the triangle APT. What happens in the triangle APT, right? Just just consider the triangle APT. So this is uh, as shown here. Let's say A, the point P, and the point T. Okay. Clearly, PT will be uh, perpendicular to AP because AP is on the base on the ground and PT is a pole which is vertical, right? It's, it stands vertically up. So, clearly, this is going to make the right angle here. Now, the angle of elevation here is theta, right? Likewise, there are other two triangles, right? Uh, BPT, BPT. Again, the angle of elevation here is theta. This is the right angle. Angle of elevation is theta. And similarly, in the triangle, uh, CPT, right? So, point C, the pole P and the top of the pole T. This is the right angle. So, the angle is theta. Why are we taking all the three angles as theta? Because it clearly says the angle of elevation is same for all the three points. So, with respect to C, the angle of elevation of top is theta. With respect to B, the angle of elevation of the top is theta. And with respect to A as well, the angle of elevation of the top of the pole is theta. Now, if you try to apply the trigonometric identity, let's say a trigonometric ratio tan theta, what happens? Tan theta. What will be tan theta in the first triangle? tan theta is opposite by adjacent so pt by ap okay so we can say that uh, tan theta here tan theta in the first triangle will be opposite pt by ap pt by ap what about the second triangle tan theta opposite is pt by adjacent is bp which is equal to pt by bp and even in the third triangle opposite is pt adjacent is cp Right, all the three angles are same. So I can say tan theta is PT by AP, which is equal to PT by BP, which is equal to PT by CP. PT is the length of the pole, right? P is the bottom, T is the top. So PT is the length of the pole, which is same, right? Clearly same. And theta is also same. Now, when is this possible? PT by AP equals to PT by BP equals to PT by CP. It is possible only when AP is equal to BP is equal to CP. So the conclusion that we have 
uh, arrived at from the given case is that AP will be equal to BP will be equal to CP. Now what are AP, BP and CP? The distance of the vertices from the foot of the pole P, right? Which means uh, the, from the vertex A to the foot of the pole P, the distance is same as the distance from the vertex B to the foot of the pole is same as the distance from the vertex C to the foot of the pole. Now when does this happen? In a triangle ABC, in, in any triangle ABC, right? Right? When from a particular point the distance of all the three vertices are equal, which means that point will be circumcenter. Because from this point, taking as the center, if I draw a circle, it will touch all the three vertices A, B and C. Right? So if this point is P here, clearly P will be the circumcenter because the distances are equal. A, P is equal to B, P equals to C, P. If the distances are equal, that means my circum, uh, circle that I draw will be touching all the three vertices A, B and C. Right? Which is possible only when it is circumcenter. So we can come to a conclusion that it is going to be the circumcenter C of the triangle. So I think though the explanation is a little lengthy, if you have followed the question, it shouldn't be difficult for you to answer. And I'm sure even without drawing this diagram and taking up all these equations, you'll be able to arrive at the answer uh, circumcenter. Right? It's all about visualization. From the foot of the pole to the top of the pole, the length is same and theta is same from all the three vertices. So clearly the distance from each of the vertex to the foot of the pole has to be equal. Which means AP, BP and CP is the circumradius. Right? From geometry, from the topic of geometry you understand that AP is the circumradius, BP is also the circumradius and CP is also the circumradius which are all equal. Hence it has to be the circumcenter C. So as I've mentioned earlier a different question does not involve any calculation but a little analysis for us to come to the answer that is circumcenter. So with this question we come to the end of this topic of height and distance. I'm sure all of you have enjoyed this uh, session on uh, this topic of height and distance and you are really comfortable now in answering these questions. All you need to do is get the diagram right, use the proper trigonometric ratios and in some cases the trigonometric formula that we have learned and simplify the given equations to get the required answer. So practice uh, well on such questions from height and distance so that you don't miss out on that one important mark. Uh, or one important question that we get in various competitive exams. See you in the next session. Thank you.